This is the easiest way for you to earn money in Hogwarts Legacy early in the game. If you've seen any videos surrounding money around this game, you know that there are some wandering eye chests that give you 500 galleons each. And of course, the main areas in which you can find them are Hogsmeade and Hogwarts itself. If you want to know exactly all the tips and spells that you need in order to make this method work, check out this video that I already have uploaded on my channel. It's going to be somewhere floating around my head. But in this video, I'm going to go step by step to show you every single chest that you can get in Hogsmeade, which is why we are calling this the Hogsmeade Run. Disclaimer before we begin, some of the chests are going to be locked behind closed doors. If you see the video that I mentioned, you know exactly how to get through those locks. But now, let's get on with the run. So the first thing that you're gonna do is, regardless of where you are, after you have the Disillusionment Charm and, of course, um... You don't need Alohomora for this step exactly, but you do need the Disillusionment Charm and access to Hogsmeade, which should be available by the time you get three to five hours into the game. Uh, and even if you go into the autumn season, you should be able to do this. So I am going to go into Hogsmeade right now to showcase the 14 chests that you can get right there. So I am going to go uh, to Hogsmeade. So you just fast travel there. I'm about to go find all of the eye chests that you can get in this area and also show you exactly how you can get them. First thing you need to make sure is that you are able to equip the disillusionment charm, which is this one right here. So I'm going to put it on this little spell slot and make sure that I always have that handy for whenever I can go close to one of the eye wandering chests. So we're going to go from top to bottom together. So the first one that we are going to get is over here next to the uh, Dockweed and Death Cap. So the first one is at the top right over here. Uh, getting Swift as one of the parts of the talent tree is going to help. As you can see, I can literally uh, run a little bit faster, which will make the experience a little bit run smoother. But all you have to do, right, is make sure that you are able to get to the top of this area. But yeah, so eventually you're going to go through here, through the side of the store. And in doing so, you're going to find the chest right over here. So that's the first chest we're going to go. This is the procedure for which you have to go through. So the first step is to use Revelio, right? Even if you're like far away, Revelio. just use Revelio so you can see the chest. You see it right there, right there. So all you have to do is use the Disillusionment Charm and sneak up on it. And every time that you sneak up on one of these chests, you're going to get 500 galleons. There you go. So first one already done. The next one on the map is right next to it, which is going to be right around here. Revelio. Yeah, so it is inside the store. So you can loot around the store. And then once you're here, use the Disillusionment Charm. Watch yourself, though. Let's have you leave here alone. There it is. Bam. 500. There we go. The next one that we are going to do is right next to this marker for the old fool, right next to the tree. So let's head over this way. Okay, so once you get here, Revelio. use Revelio, and you're going to find the chest right over there. So I would pop the Disillusionment Charm. loot it right there 500 the next one we are going to do there are three chests by the bridge they are right next to each other so let's get them all at the same time i'm pretty sure you can see one from the bridge but just in case we'll find it right now it is right there so you have to do is get out of sight pop the disillusionment So that's the one that we have right here. The next one is going to be over here. Revelio. As you can see, it is right there. Miss Peck from Rude and Peck said a customer lost a Dirical around here. I know we're not going to go down. Awesome. The next one that we're going to get is right next to the house. And again, you can skip to this point in the video if you feel like you already have uh, a spot where you have encountered all of the chests, but this Very is where sorry, I am. Revelio. Is it inside the house? Yes, it is. It's right there. So it's inside the store. 
it's inside you ask, the, the, the store so for, Smelly, you'll have to work it out for yourself. Augustus Hill. It's inside Augustus Hill store. There you go. So now you have that. Now that we have those one, two, three, four, five, six chests, we're going to go into this one over here at the side. We can use Revelio, but it's right there. So make sure you're out of sight. Pop this illusionment. Okay. Now that we're here, we're going to go to the next one, which is right around this area. Revelio. So it's inside Flute and Dukes. On the second floor. So this one is inside the house. So you are going to need... This one has an unidentified face item, but this one specifically is going to be locked between Alohomora. So that's why I'm saying you need to have Alohomora in order to unlock all of them. But yeah, this one is going to be right here. But right next to it, there is one that we can get, which is this one right around, which you can see is right around there. Use the Revelio, pop this illusionment. Nice. It's right over there. Right next to the garden. So by this point, you know exactly how you can get most of these. Revelio. Just let me know if there's something in particular you're looking for. Just right next to the dude. Next one is right around here. As you can see, it's right there. And then the last three that we need in order to complete this Hogsmeade run are over here. They're all next to each other. So they're all, they're all going to be here, here, and here. So let's get to that bridge. All right. So we are going to search below the bridge. Here it is. And then after we go to the one in the bridge, we're going to go next to that, next to it, to this part right here. Do Revelio. Revelio. So as you can see, this one is over at the top. You're going to need Alohomora in order to get this one. Yeah, so that one is going to be locked by Alohomora. You need Alohomora level 2 to unlock, which I'm going to be having a guide for very, very soon. And then the last one that we're going to get without Alohomora is this one right here. Rebellion. going to pop this illusionment. Here it is. And there you go. After popping disillusionment right here, all you have to do is go check your gear. And once you do go to the gear section, you're going to see that you have close to 7,000 gold coins ready to go. So that can be used to purchase gear or what I recommend, which is to go to tombs and scrolls in order to get all of the things for your room of requirement. Okay, you did it. You finally have a good base to start with when it comes to money in Hogwarts Legacy. So now that you've finished the Hogsmeade run, it is time for you to go to Hogwarts. Make sure you subscribe to the channel with the notification bells on because I'm going to be doing a full guide just like this one for the Hogwarts chess run. So that is all it from me. I will see you then.